With fat. Oh my god. No, it's so creamy. Oh my gosh. Mmm. <laughs> Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from Pristina, Kosovo. I'm actually right outside of the city, and I'm here at Magic Ice, a cheese factory, a massive cheese factory. I've never been to a place this large. I've been to smaller cheese factories, but never something like this. We're gonna see how they make cheese, curd, ice cream, sour cream. We're gonna see everything. We're gonna try some cheese, maybe some ice cream. I'm so excited. Let's go inside Magic Ice, follow me. And here we go guys, mask on. Let's go see how they make some cheese. What are you putting on? For your feet? Here at the entrance you can see all the products they make of ice cream. They have two imported, but the rest is all theirs. So Eskimo, Alaska, Estimo, Magic Ice. <laughs> Magic Ice. Doesn't really fit. This is hardcore. Alright guys, so you have to put this on. Keep everything clean, right? Woo! Tight! <laughs> Let's do this, this is exciting. It's been a while since I've been in a cheese factory. Okay. Head, feet, everything. Woo! Yeah, I feel good. Like, I've never seen a cheese factory before. This is my first time. I've been to cheese factories, but never this big. This is huge. You have these huge vats here, over there, they're pressing them in containers. And we're gonna see the process from the beginning to the end. Wow, it smells so good in here, just like pure milk. After we take the pasteurized uh, the milk, then we bring, we make it yogurt, we bring the yogurt here in Napa. This is called a Napa, but it's a very big Napa. We put all the yogurt inside and then take the water out. And the rest is cheese. So like Erjan said, it starts off by getting the milk, they pasteurize the milk, it's basically yogurt, they put it in here, they separate the cheese from the water, right? They separate it, then they press it, and then they make these blocks, right? Yeah, they made it both, but they still use this water to keep the cheese uh, soft. Yeah, exactly, that's why when you buy like the goat cheese, it always a little bit of water in yeah. the container, right? Yes, yes. So it always stays nice and salty. Exactly. Wow, look at this, massive. So after one day, they, they keep it uh, in that uh, cistern. With the rest, next day we make this cheese. So they box it, they box it here, and then they put it in a small package to sell outside. Now this is wild, look at this. So that's milk, right? That's milk being pasteurized. And over here, we have the containers. So they're taking the blocks and they're putting them into these containers. Wow, double creamy magic. It's soft. Softer. It's softer. So here, as you can see, they are packing the cheese. They need 800 grams. Each time, once you put the big block, it's like 650 grams. So she cuts another piece, throws it in, and yeah. she moves it over to this lady. She grabs water, she fills it up, right? Closes it, seals it, it's done, ready to be delivered to supermarkets. Amazing. And then over here, as you can see, they are basically curing the uh, yeah. pasteurizing the milk, yeah, right? Milk, but they, they are doing Giza. Giza is like uh, not exactly a cheese. It exists only in Balkan. I can say it's, Giza is like product of uh, of yogurt. Okay. But it's not. It's very soft. It's like sauce. But sauce between sauce and yogurt. I don't know how. To that's, well, that's what we had today yeah, this yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what we had with the peppers. Delicious. And here we go again. They're gonna like open the vat, yeah. and boom, everything comes out. And the water is brine, so it's like after fermenting the cheese. The brine, we still use it for to keep it uh, more salty in the, in, the, in the market. I mean, it makes it last longer, right? Yeah. Okay, so that first layer keeps basically the cheese warm yeah. before uh, it... Until it is fermented. Then, okay. Uh, now it's almost ready. Okay, so it's going to close it like this, yeah. right? Yeah. Wow, okay. This so is so the cool. The water goes out now. The water goes out? Yeah. Okay, sorry, I've never seen this before. I'm very interested, but I, I'm trying to understand the process and how so this you works. You see the process here, like the water is going out, the rest is only cheese. Only cheese. Yeah. Okay. So once they take the plastic layer off, they let it sit there for 40 minutes, and then 
they close it, right? They close it just like this one. And all you have is cheese. Are we gonna try any cheese? <laughs> we'll try some ice cream. We'll, we'll try. Yeah, ice cream for sure. Ice cream? Helado, helado, gelato, gelato. This is an ice cream they make here. So except the cheese, yogurt, everything. They do also very good ice cream. I've tried this in Albania before. Uh -huh. And uh, it's my favorite. Mm, so good. Ice cream. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, my turn to try the ice cream. We haven't had lunch, but we'll have ice cream. <laughs> oh, I love this by the way. I like it a little nutty. You have a chocolate inside. It's amazing vanilla. Wow. So creamy. It's just like falls apart. It's like melting. Straight up almost like butter. Mmm. Delicious, bro. It's okay. The ice cream is, is made only with the milk. Only There's with no milk. mixing with water. Most of companies do that. That's a trick. Okay. So this has 100% milk. Gazor. Gazor. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> it is so good. It's like pure, right? I'm actually very surprised by the ice cream. It is so sweet and good. I mean, like the purest ice cream, and I love the cone. Mm-hmm. Mm. So so good. So now we're gonna see the process of the jiza, which is this right here. That's actually curd. They love curd in India. Curd is, you know, it's a staple there. <laughs> My friend here is too funny. <laughs> so they have two types of curds. Uh, one is with uh, more salt, one without, with less salt. One is with a very real fresh product from milk. Here we have two different ones, big vats. As you can see the women, they keep packing them in these plastic bags. So they just keep going, grabbing, getting more, getting more. Look at this one. This one's smaller vat, right? So this is a huge vat smaller vat and you can see the label or the plastic bag is a little different so the blue one and the pink one wow it smells great in here we'll do some uh, tasting so which one's this one <laughs> with fat oh my god no it's so creamy oh my gosh mmm <laughs> So fresh. Fresh. Like, it's, like cheese, but very, very soft. So once they're done packing the curd, then they vacuum seal the bag. Obviously, that's the best way to keep it all super fresh, no air. Now we're gonna see what? More stuff? No, we are going to see the packed, already packed, ready for the market. Wow. Look at this. Woo, it's freezing. Freezing. This is the biggest refrigerator I've ever been in. Look at this. Humongous. Lots of cheese. Never ending amount of cheese. How, how many kilos here? Woo, a million. Five million. Less than five. 4.9. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just cheese. So you have it in these big vats that we saw earlier, or big containers, right? And you have them in these that we saw them packing in, right? So each one is different size. This is two kilos. That is 0 0.8, right? 800 grams. Amazing. Whew, let's get out of here, it's too cold. Oh, it's too cold. Very cold. It, it was three degrees. How much? Three degrees. It was three degrees. So, whatever that is, like 40 Fahrenheit. And then here we have sour cream. We have yogurt, right? We have a uh, magic cream. We have a... Uh, magic cream? Yeah, look at so, this. So beautiful packing, I like it. Like it's sour cream, I can fresh it. So it's minus 21 degrees inside, it's the ice cream uh, after the minus 22. Oh, oh, too cold. Yeah. Well, this is where the ice cream is stored, huh? Welcome. Yeah, welcome to the North Pole. I'm talking about. <laughs> it's too cold. Okay, but here's all the ice cream. Massive ice cream, freezer refrigerator, minus 22. 
Ooh, can't be in here for more than like two seconds. Super cold, huh? 20 seconds in there, and I can't feel my face. The face is frozen. Yes. Your ear? No, my ears too. They're like. Too. You can like literally get frostbite in there. Oh, yeah, if you stay 5-10 minutes, bye bye. Oh, so minus 22 is 9 Fahrenheit. Yes. Wow. I mean, I feel it all everywhere. My hat froze. The wool is gone. Uh -huh. <laughs> you want to taste the cheese? Yes, I do. Okay, my friend. So which is this one? This is a... Uh, double cheese? Double cheese? Double cheese? White cheese. From cow, cow. Mm -hmm. Very different from goat cheese. Oh. Different texture. This one's less crumbly. Mm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I want more of that. This is feta cheese. Mm. So I already feel the difference just from touching it. Mm -hmm. This is so soft. Like ice cream. Mm -hmm. The other one is dense and crumbly. This one is like all like. I don't know, like butter, right? Like ice cream. Almost the same. They fill it with uh, milk. I accept the milk 100%. They have some uh, uh, natural fat. So they are filling this uh, with water to press the cheese. And after that is the process of cutting. They made it in small boxes and put inside the packing. Gazor, Gazor. Gazor. <laughs> and that is how you make cheese in Kosovo at Magic Ice. Incredible. VIP tour. Yeah. We saw basically the whole process. The whole process of cheese, of jiza. Sour cream, sour cream curd, yeah. well curd is Jiza, yeah, uh, we tried ice cream, I mean this is so unique, I've never been in a factory this big and just going through each step is so different and if you guys don't know what cheese is, basically comes from milk, right? So milk then eventually turns into like yogurt, yogurt then yeah. eventually turns into cheese, I mean yeah. there's a few different pro pieces of the process, right? Yeah. Now after seeing how they make cheese in Magic Ice, so I'm always buying from this, so clean, so nice, people working here. Perfect. Exactly. And that feta cheese, I gotta say, it's part of the best feta cheese I've ever had in my life. Part of the best cheese ever because it was so buttery. Like, literally like the ice cream. Like, that creamy. So good. It fell apart. Well, guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Kosovo. Peace.